Big deal just going down here. Spencer Dinwiddie and Davis Bertans traded to the Dallas Mavericks for Kristaps Porzingis and a second round pick. So Porzingis here, him and Dodgic the last couple seasons, it just hasn't been the great one-two combo like many people thought. And Porzingis throughout his career, he's been injury prone. So right now, him and Bradley Beal will be the guys there in Washington, obviously. But Beal's out for the season. So Kristaps Porzingis, I'll start off with here. I think it's good for his fantasy value going to Washington, especially for the remainder of the season when no more Beal and Montrez Herald they traded a few minutes ago as well here. So on the season for Porzingis, 19.2 points a game, 7.7 .7 rebounds, 2 assists, 1.7 blocks, 1.4 threes a game, and 45% from the field. But Porzingis, he hasn't played going back to January 29th now. He's been out right now. Obviously, with a knee injury. And he's not going to be happy, in my opinion, going to Washington. He wanted out of New York a few seasons ago, going to Dallas. Then he signed the big contract, and now he's going to the Wizards. But once he gets on the court, especially this season, like I said, his fantasy value definitely would take a bump up because there's not many options over there right now in Washington with the injuries and the trades they made today in this one so Porzingis here this season decent season he's gonna get 20 22 points a game I think in Washington and shoot the three ball but he's never a guy I could trust with his injury concerns throughout his career the next guy Spencer Dinwiddie now going to Dallas and it's gonna be an interesting fit with Dinwiddie and Luka Doncic playing side by side so right here just didn't work out in Washington as well a lot of people in that organization, just didn't like Dinwiddie for whatever reason. And on the season, it's been an underwhelming season, especially with the money he got. 12.6 points a game, 4.7 rebounds, 5.8 assists, 1.6 threes a game, and 37% from the field. So he cannot shoot the basketball this season as Dinwiddie. He was good a few years ago with the Brooklyn Nets. This year he got the contract with Washington, but the numbers have gone down, and I don't think his value will really go up that much in Dallas. He's just going to be another guy... And obviously the second or third option over there in Dallas with Doncic and Jalen Brunson playing great basketball in that backcourt. So right here, he needed a change of scenery. He hasn't lived up to the contract. And right now, we'll see what he does in Dallas. But I don't think it's a great deal for the Dallas Mavericks. I think they need more of a guy who's a wing at the forward or center position who's going to score the basketball more than Dunwoody. I just don't like the fit next to Doncic for him. And Davis Bertans, I think it's a better fit for him going over there with a playmaker like Doncic to Dallas here. And he's a guy that could get open and stretch the floor, but another guy who hasn't lived up to that four-year, $80 million contract he signed last offseason to stay with the Wizards. And this season here, only 5.7 points a game, 1.8 rebounds, 1.4 threes a game, and 35% from the field. So Bertans, Two seasons ago was a fluky season, but now he plays with a good point guard in Doncic who could maybe set him up and get him going. But right now he's available in 97% of fantasy leagues, but he'll really have to take off off the bench here, in my opinion. Fantasy relevant is Davis Burton. So right here, a mini blockbuster deal that no one expected to see come here, especially with Dinwiddie signing the contract in the offseason. And Porzingis and Doncic a decent one-two punch, but the injury concerns obviously being a problem. So Spencer Dinwiddie and Bertans going to Dallas and Porzingis going to Washington. And we'll see how things shake out for the remainder of the year for these players in the trade.